things have never came easy for you. Now, you have so many blessings in your life and you make things look so good that people feel like things have been so easy for you. But the truth of the matter is you don't look like what you have been through. And your endurance and your strength is amazing, right? The fact that you've been through things that would break people, right? Put people in situations that they just simply can't come back from. Put people in mindsets that they can't come back from as far as them losing it, right? Breaking people's heart to where they don't want to love anybody no more. They don't want to pour, you know, greatness and joy and, you know, just that natural sense of positivity and care into people because they feel like they're broken. They feel like they've been through so much that can't nobody else have joy if they can't have joy. They feel like they've been through so much. Can't nobody else have love if they can't have love, right? So they have allowed these things to break them. And you could see that in their external appearance. But because you've been through all these different things and you still look like the best definition of beautiful, sis. You still look like the best definition of handsome, bro. People can still see and feel that love and radiant energy vibing off of you. And some of your haters are confused because they're like, hold up. This dude's making it look too easy. We know what they've been through. We've tried to break them with everything in our power, right? And we've even seen them and witnessed them endure certain things that will break us, but yet they're still moving. And little do they know there's so much that you have been through behind the scenes, but because you're not a big mouth, you're smart enough to understand that people can't really help you when it comes down to speaking your business and gossiping with them about your personal problems. The only one that can help you is Lord Jesus. And you found this out early on because people went out of their way to run their mouth. You cut that behavior out because you understood that you can't sit up there and trust people with your personal business and expect anything to change because all you're doing is talking. The only thing that's going to change is more people are going to know your business. So instead of talking, you chose to walk, right? Instead of speaking, you chose to take action towards changing your life. And you have changed your life, right? Because you didn't talk about all your problems in the process of changing your life. People are looking like, how, right? But when you do something, you're such a boss, you don't do things to where you can explain how to people or get that, you know, cool points, brownie points, like, oh, look what I'm doing, look what I did. You're so silent and mysterious that it really has people feeling like they want more from you as far as how are you doing it and why you make it look so easy. And they'll never get what they want because you don't answer to them. You're going to continue to handle your business. The truth of the matter is they want to see you in pain. They want to see you struggling like them. They want to see you unconfident like them. They want to see you stagnant about chasing your dreams like them, but you don't behave like them. You're not cut from the same cloth as them, and they want to be from your cloth, and they'll never be from your cloth because we're all different. And they fail to acknowledge that. They fail to realize that. So they're going to stay in that box that they're in and watch you rise to the top no matter what they expect you to feel or what they want to see you go through because they're not God. And God is going to bless you so many times just to show them this and prove to them this point. You're not God, bro. Sit down in a corner somewhere and let me bless my chosen one because you don't know what they have been through, nor do we know what they have been through. But nonetheless, what we have been through has not broken us. What we have been through has pushed us to a deeper connection with the Most High God and Lord Jesus. What we have been through has allowed us to have more sympathy and empathy for everyday people that we come into contact with because we've been through it, but we don't look like it. And certain times we will ask the Most High God, hey, why am I going through this? Like, what's really going on? You know what I mean? Like, this is kind of left field. But the whole time he was putting you through these things to where when he rises you to a certain level, 
you can never act bougie and stick your nose up at people like you haven't been through it, right? You can never act like you haven't been through homelessness. You can never act like you haven't struggled with certain lifestyles and addictions. You can never act like you haven't struggled with lust. You can never act like you haven't struggled with abandonment. You can never act like you haven't struggled with all these different things that people that look like you would stick their nose up and say, oh, no, I have never been through that. No, they're trying to look cool. And this is why God loves you so much. You keep it a buck through and through. You're not trying to look cool for nobody, which is even more swaggier, which makes people like you even more. So keep doing what you're doing and understand you don't have to explain your pain, nor do you have to explain your gain. Just know God ain't blessing you for no reason. And it's really nobody's business why or what you've been through unless God urges you to share your testimony. And the Holy Spirit will push you in certain directions and show you when the time is right. But nonetheless, keep pushing, stay strong, stay motivated. If you know you're not going to let anybody hold you back, block your blessings, or make you feel like you have to explain your pain, or make you feel like you have to show your pain to where they could get some type of joy from it, don't you be afraid to hop down there and say, no pain, no gain, right? God got me in Jesus' mighty name. Trust you guys. Love you guys, and I thank you guys for your support. Make sure you guys hop down there, like this thing up, share this thing up, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button so we keep in the loop every time we drop. I'll catch you guys in the next one.